Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Kahlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the price of gold. So the price of gold, much like the rest of the market, has been in a pretty um, aggressive sell-off and downtrend. And this has largely been on the back of recessionary pressures that have caused slowed growth forecasts and um, panic within the market. So as we have a look over at the chart, what we can see is that over the last really two years, and this is at the weekly chart, um, we've had a bit, pretty much this range between um, $1,660 and about $2,080. So that's been a range and we've kind of been jumping up and down. We've tested the um, points a few times, but so far um, we hadn't been able to break through. However, in the most recent week, what we've seen is a push through this point over here, um, which is also coincidentally at the 200 week average. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, just bear with me. Um, and what we can see is that we've actually broken through this um, support. And in this week, even, we've actually bounced off. So the question is, well, is this going to continue to bounce off? Or will it just consolidate and then fall back down? So what we can see is there's on the RSI, we've got a bounce off the oversold button twice. So really, we're waiting to see what happens in the last two days of the week and the last two days of the month before um, we see if this thing is going to keep going and potentially come back down or it's going to break back above and go back up into the range. So that's really that kind of first move. And, you know, there's still obviously quite a bit of economic data to come out in the next couple of weeks, especially from the USA. So we are looking to see, well, if inflation has stemmed a little bit and perhaps we may get a soft landing from recession or not. But that is really where we're at at the moment on the weekly chart. So as we move to the daily, and we're just going to make that a little bit bigger, again, we can see a similar kind of move. Um, obviously, as I stated before, we've got this, strong support at 1670 um, that we've just broken through. So if we do happen to fall, well, where's that next support? That next support zone is really at about 1550. So we could be looking for a potential short, um, a good short entry, um, retesting that kind of support, or which is now, uh, yeah, this retested support, um, you know, which may provide fairly good risk return. You know, you can put us um, stop loss around there. So there's a potential option. Um, but again, this is definitely one to wait and watch. We are resting at pretty important levels. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that analysis and good luck trading.